surprised you would take anything that's not green. What are you trying to say? And get like trial sizes of things to take with you on trips? No, don't do that. Just go to the dollar store and get those little bottles and then put the stuff you already have in there because then you'll save money. But if you go to a hotel, I would say grab like the shampoo and conditioners and the soaps. Yeah. I save that stuff and always use it. I take towels. I take the towels. (laughs) Roll your clothes to put them in your suitcase because that's how I that's how I got all my clothes in that suitcase. This suitcase has all of my clothes and toiletries for a month. I'm scared to open it. I had to lay across it to close it. This old man suitcase. There's an old man suitcase. I got an eBay for $15. Traveling on a plane to wear the bulkiest or the most layers that you can. What? So you have more room in your suitcase. You are what? You you live your life. Life. Why would you pack? Why are you yelling at me, first of all? I would take like those Biore, I would take those Biore face wipes instead of taking another thing of liquid for your face. Do you want, do you want to cuddle? Like, your you boobs are ridiculous. Oh my god, look how... Screen cap. <laughs> look how good they look, though. Yeah, they look good there, but they don't look good in real life. <laughs> I just have, like, my confirmation number and stuff. I always text it to myself so that I don't have to go looking for a piece of paper if it's not, if I don't have it right with me. That's smart. That's smart. That's smart. That's smart. Or bring your phone charger with you at all times because you think that your phone won't die, you think it's charged, but I guarantee you when you're getting off that plane, magically it'll die. And then you'll be screwed. Waiting for someone to pick you up and they can't get a hold of you. Don't leave your phone charger in the airport. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. The best thing I ever learned on a plane, and I learned this because I have a guitar, and I didn't want to pay an extra thirty dollars to check it, is so you can you can check luggage, obviously, but whatever. But let's say like you packed for a trip, but and you're not bringing like razors or knives or things that you couldn't go through security with. You could technically take that through for free and just gate check it. Because people gate check, I gate check my guitar, and people gate check like strollers, and I've seen people gate check luggage that doesn't fit in the overhead compartment, or if there's not enough room for people to all put their stuff in the overhead compartment. And they don't pay for that? No, it's free. I always wondered how that happens. I'm always concerned. It's free. You just go up and act confident and say, I need a gate check tag, and they'll put it on. And then, like, when you get off the plane, it's waiting for you at the end of the runway with the strollers and stuff. Yeah, I've seen that. That's a quick way to save, like, 25 bucks. Make sure that you pick your seats before you get there. Because I, I feel like when I don't pick my seats, I always get in the middle. I'm always in the middle, and I'm always between people. And it, it hurts my everything. I always pick my seats. I always pick my seats. I like, I prefer the right side of the plane by the window. I prefer... I naturally lean that way, I feel like. side, I'm going to see things. Like, so if I'm flying from Cleveland to Los Angeles, I want to sit on the left side of the plane. And whenever I'm flying from Los Angeles to Cleveland, I want to sit also on the left side of the plane. <laughs> Lists. I always make a huge, giant list. Packing lists. Yes. I will sometimes pack, or, like, I'll go through and, like, whatever I feel like I should have, I'll kind of throw in my bed, Mm -hmm. and then, like, from that, go through and be like, okay, what do I actually need, and then try to pack it, and uh, sometimes I, like, repack, like, two or three times, I feel like. Repack the morning you leave. It's a good idea. Because I always leave things that I, like, I was just getting ready, oh, I don't have any makeup, because I put makeup on this morning. I'll usually usually spend, like, more time making a list of what I should pack. Than the actual packing. Like, the packing is really easy, but it's just, I'll spend days, like, just adding things to a list. Yeah. Happy travels!